everyone! I'm so excited to show you this today. This is one of the most requested videos I get. Hardly a day goes by when somebody doesn't ask me how I get all of my hair. Look, it keeps going and going. How I get that all into a wig? The thing is, it's actually really easy. So today I am going to show you how, no matter how long your hair is, you can get it up on your head, into a wig cap, and into a wig with no problem. All you're gonna need is some sort of hair scrunchie, a wig cap, and bobby pins galore. Bobby pins, bobby pins, bobby pins. <laughs> it used to take me forever to get all of my hair up. I would try and do pin curls over my entire head and that just did not work for me. It took forever and a lot of times I'm in the morning trying to get ready to go to a party and it's really early. I mean like I'm talking, the sun is not up yet because I have a long day of parties ahead of me and I'm super, super slow getting ready and I need something that I can do quickly and this is something that I can do quickly. So what I do is I combine the idea of pin curls with braids. So I do one pin curl here, one pin curl here and one here. Then I braid the rest of my hair, coil it on my head and stick it in with bobby pins. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that. I start with the center. The front part's really short because <laughs> I have it shorter in the front than in the back. I would recommend that your hair be brushed out so that when you take it out, it's not a big giant mess. Um, and if you do pin curls while your hair is wet or even damp, because I'll have mornings when I either went, had a shower that morning or the night before and it's still damp and then the pin curls come out and they are like ringlet curls. So if you're looking for heatless curls, pin curls are an excellent way to do that. So you see what I did there? I'll talk you through the next one. That one was kind of just a visual. What do you see? I, I did an X kind of with the pin, with the bobby pins. So this one I'll, wa I'll talk you through it while I do it. You section off a se um, some hair in the front. So kind of like this front ear area and forward. Smooth it all out. And then I just start wrapping it around my finger until I get to about there. And then I flatten it, squish it down and then Turn it and just coil it up. It's like a yo-yo and you're ringing all the little string. Maybe a yo-yo is not the best description, <laughs> but you're just, you're just coiling it up. Then what I do is I take a bobby pump and put it down at a diagonal. This is hard to do without a mirror in front of me. <laughs> I have a little one down here, but I don't have the big one where I can really see it. And then you make an X with the bobby pins. And I also like to have them pointing down so that the bobby pins are pulled down with gravity throughout the day and they don't fall out then. If you wanna do, especially some of these front ones, another bobby pin that goes up and kinda gets a little some of these baby hairs too, you can do that as well. Let's just make sure it feels relatively secure. It doesn't have to be super secure because you're gonna put it up in a wig cap anyway. So now we've got the other side and we just do the same thing. You can't even see that because my hair is so far down there. Just twist it. And coil it up. And just kind of rotating it around itself. And this one I got like a real, a bigger chunk than usual. So you can do it in a smaller one and it's Totally fine. This might be a little big, but it's not a big deal. Like seriously, it's going into a wig cap. <laughs> it's all gonna be smushed down. Okay, I've got a lot there, so I'm gonna start from underneath. And then do a little X at the top. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so I did a bad job there. I'm just gonna take one of these and pin down that top part. All right. Now the rest of your hair, you just braid it. Nothing complicated. I'll try and do it where you can see it. Section it into three pieces. And 
then you put one under, then the other. You just pull each side under. If you don't know how to braid, sometime maybe I can make a tutorial on how to braid hair. But I think most people know how to do simple braids. If not, I'm sure there's a million tutorials out there how to do a braid. Now some people don't do the pin curls. Some people just French braid their hair. I like the pin curls because I find it gives the wig pins something to hold on to when you're pinning the wig on. There are other people who are really into making sure it's as flat onto their head as possible. I find with the wigs I'm using, it doesn't make that much of a difference. As long as it's mostly flat and you give the wig pin something to hold on to, it's great. Just get it done as fast as possible because you have other things to move on to and do that day. Now I'm going to coil. Maybe I should turn around and show you this. Hopefully you can see that. I'm just coiling onto my head like that. I almost think like a Princess Leia coil. I've never seen the behind side of it. So this will be fun when I watch. It'll be new for me too. Start one up there. And just start digging your, whoops, that one's not good. When you do this, make sure I kind of stir up and then pin in because you want to make sure you're getting inside the bobby pin hair from the braid and the hair that's just coming out of your head. And then just pin it on in a big circle. And it's not even super tight. You know why it doesn't need to be? Because you have a wig cap. Now for choosing a wig cap, just pick a wig cap that is closest to the color of your wig. So this one could be a Rapunzel one, or an Elsa one, or a Cinderella one. And this one could be Anna or Ariel, because it's kind of more of an auburn color. I just take this one. See, this one's got a hole in it. I need to get a new one, but it still works. All right, and I take it from behind first. and just stuff the rest of the hairs up in there. Like, really, this is the least formal process. Like, you just get your hair in there. I mean, you'll see there's some sticking out. That's okay. You can gel them down if you'd like and, and comb them back. Today, I don't really need to do that because some wigs hide more than others. You might need to be a little more careful about hairs sticking out of the sides if you're wearing for instance, you have really dark hair, but you're gonna wear a really light wig. And that's literally all there is to it. All of it's up, and now it's, I'm ready to put on a wig. So simple, so easy, anybody can do it. And so even if you have long hair, you don't have to worry about not being able to wear a wig. It'll be fine, it'll be great, and it's super quick and easy. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this was very helpful for you. I know when I was first trying to figure out how to do this, it would have been very helpful for me. So I hope I can pass this on and make your mornings getting ready if you're putting on a wig or just make it the first time you're trying it a little simpler for you. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any other fun, helpful tips and I'll see you next time.